Hey everyone, Stephen here. Just um, wanted to talk about, uh, just purchased a brand new Can-Am 2024 Mav-R. And it's always been a big talk about what type of tires, what type of wheels do I get? Well, this car is gonna be built just for the sand. And um, so I just kinda wanna let you know what I decided on and why I chose it. So I've always liked the sand tires unlimited. So I went to STU and asked them for my car what do they suggest I get? And I'm running the Evolution 110 Tune on the computer. And uh, what they suggested is the number 30, it's a 32 inch diameter Blackbird with a number two paddle. And um, on the front, they suggested we use, I think this is a pretty brand new tire they just came out with. It's a lead screw and it's a 32 inch diameter. So the wheels are they're made by Kaiser and you can get them through Evolution Power Sports Motorsports and um, they actually have on the back it's a 15 by 11 with a 5 inch offset and on the front it's a 15 by 8 with a 5 inch offset and as you can see with these tires and the knuckle there's plenty of room lots of clearance um, and that's a big issue thing I was worried about how much clearance am I going to have is going to fit on this kind of crazy um, looking suspension and it fits fine there's no problems on the inside as far as the brake calipers and um, steering everything fits actually better than the original dirt tires that came on it it actually has more room in between the back same issue, same thing as you can see there's plenty of clearance on the um, suspension arm and inside there's no problems as far as the <clears throat> calipers or the um, control arms or the suspension arm. Everything fits nice and neat. So the width on it, you probably want to know, on this setup, it's um, about 88 inches in the back. Enough to fit into my 8-foot <clears throat> trailer, 96-inch wide trailer without having to take the tires off. And the front, same thing, fits in there just fine. Um, it actually, the front wheels fit in between the wheel wells, so no problem as far as going up over the top of the wheel wells or having to take tires and wheels off um, to go to the dunes and get ready to go. That's a big issue for me. So it's plenty wide enough. Um, I think it looks really good. Um, my only, I haven't had it out yet. My only concern is this tire looks pretty dang aggressive for this car. Um, and I know that it's important to have a wheel spin, and um, I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna work, but this is what STU suggested for this power in this car. It looks really good. I'm gonna be taking it out in a couple weeks, um, testing it out, and I'll let you know what I think. But so far, if nothing else, it looks good. <laughs> and everything fits, um, fits on the suspension, fits on the trailer, and that's a big part of it. So I thought you guys wanted to know, um, if you have any questions, Text me at 702-780-9406. Thank you.